EA Sports coverage of the National Football League takes us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Buffalo Bills and the Los Angeles Rams. And off we go from SoFi Stadium. From the end zone, here comes Brandon Powell. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Stafford. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Off the edge, Jerry Hughes gets the sack. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Now the first carry for Cam Akers. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. And this time they're able to bottle him up as he'll stop him at the line of scrimmage. Jerry Hughes on the stop. Really good stop there by the end in this 4-3 defense. And not just pass rushers anymore, are they? Those guys can use their hands, control the point of attack, shed those blockers, and go get those ball carriers. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. So a pretty early first quarter roughing the passer penalty. Seems like the officials are going to let everyone know they're taking charge of this game. They're always going to protect the quarterback. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snap. But what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket. Ends up spilling it for a loss. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. On the give, this is Akers. Akers has got the first down of then so. And down to the 16-yard line. 41 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. Relatively small sample size, but that's his longest run of the first quarter. Bounced it out to the outside to make it successful. And to get there, you actually need some help. It's not just your pure speed getting to the corner, making sure that the blocking is taken care of inside so the pursuit doesn't get you. And oftentimes, those wide receivers, tight ends that might be flexed out, they've got to control the edge and make sure no one from the outside can spill the play before he gets there. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Again, he targets Cup, and this time he's got it. And the Rams are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Akers. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Give him three on the gain there. Second and goal. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks good. And he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. <laughs> The sneak successful from a yard out. And the Rams are going to take a first quarter lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Fair catch signal four and taken successfully. Allen 
down and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25 yard line. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 29, Allen. And Diggs has it. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third and inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. They'll try and run for this with Singletary. And he is going to have a Bills first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They will run with Singletary. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Big Sebastian Joseph Day there on the stop. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. And now they'll throw with Allen. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. It's a tried-and-true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball, and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Throwing his Allen on third. He's got the connection to Cole Beasley. And this is going to be What's another up? first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 28. Allen now on first down. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. Allen now looks to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. Now this is a feeling I can relate to all too well. Deflation on third and short. Excellent coverage. Took away all the short routes, but the one person who wasn't accounted for, the quarterback. And he used his legs to hot foot it for a first down. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. Singletary. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. Second and goal from the one. Allen taking it himself. And he is not going to get in as the big bodies stop him at the one. Officially no gain on the sneak. Kind of a wasted play there. And now it's third down. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And he's got his tight end knocks for a Bills touchdown. 
A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the football game. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied here in the second quarter. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. On oh, the return is Brandon Powell. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape, up past the 30. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage, too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Isaiah McKenzie is back deep for the Bills. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five, superb. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Now, they were good last time out with a touchdown drive. This go around, it's not going to be very easy starting from inside their own five. But they shouldn't be daunted by it. You work on this the entire offseason. You work on it in practice. It's called coming out session. Start the ball inside the five, start on the five, on the ten. They should be ready to go. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Out to the left, he's got his tight end, Knox. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. Throwing on first down is Allen. They'll roll him out right. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen, a quick throw, going to be caught by Diggs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Allen from the gun on third down. He'll find Diggs once more on the completion. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. And meanwhile, Allen's throw here, taken in by Knox. 
Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. A giant hole up the middle, and all the way down inside the five to the four. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Here's Allen. Rolling to his, and he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen taking it in from four yards out, and the Bills have taken the lead. Extra point by Bass, up and good, and that makes the score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Powell now to take it out of the end zone. And he'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get in the field goal range. He'll get this to Akers out of the backfield. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. So from the 36 now, first and 10. To throw is Stafford. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup, And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Stafford. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free, and there's another example, another incompletion. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing is Stafford. Going up top for Cup. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills are going to have the football at their own one-yard line. Well, Charles, you know, so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. McKenzie now from his end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Here's Allen on first and 10. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 28, and they will take over at the 29-yard line. Not the way you envision things to start out the third quarter. One play and already a turnover. It's interesting. You and I were talking with the coach, and he talked about how at halftime, as a play caller, he wanted to make sure he got a new script going for the second half, not just the one that he operated off of to start the game. Nowhere on that script did it have that result. Down to about the 22 here. 50 yards on the ground for him so far. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Going right back to Akers. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. 
They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. So it's a pretty simple, partner. You pick up a turnover, set you up in excellent field position. The last thing you want to do is go three and out in this spot. Yeah, they would have had to settle for a field goal attempt, but now they keep those touchdown hopes alive. They'll run on first down with Akers. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Here's second and nine. They'll try the air now with Stafford. This is caught. And the Rams are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. They'll look to run with Akers. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Cam Akers taking it in from two yards out. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that will tie our game here in the third. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. And give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. On first down, they stick with Singletary. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first downs. And how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the gun, it's Allen. Flushed out right. First down and more for Allen. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced a ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. Now Allen. He's got it complete to Diggs right side. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. They run here with Singletary. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then... And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. A one-yard touchdown run for Devin Singletary. And the Bills have broken the tie. Bass on for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Here's Powell on the return. 
And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Here's Stafford. A quick pass to Cup. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. On first down, Akers. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Shifts by him. 79 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A shotgun snap for Stafford. This one to the left to Higby. Three yards the gain there, second down. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Here's a run with Akers on second down. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. On first down, they'll stay with Akers on the ground. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Quick slam here to Woods. Touchdown, Rams! Robert Woods on the touchdown throw from Matthew Stafford. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw so through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. To throw, it's Allen. It's complete to Diggs. 
And he is going to have a Bills first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Allen going to throw. Working the middle here. That's complete to Knox, the tight end. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. He was brought down by Troy Reeder. Defensively, we always know that he is tough and run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And if you're thinking field goal from here, it's 48 yards. I think they'd like to get him a little help now on third down and move it closer. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. They've got it first and ten as they search for a go-ahead score. They'll run on first down. Singletary. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. A gain of three, second down. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Right back to Singletary on second down. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Singletary here running out of the gun. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Devin Singletary, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bills answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Important extra point up and through, and they will take a seven-point lead. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they had the touchdown during the last drive, and I'm guessing that you like the balance they had on that last drive. And I loved it. Forget liking it. Absolutely love what they were doing because to be ahead of the defense that much, where every play call you have, run or pass, is working pretty well for you. Makes you look like a genius. It really does. It also lets you know that your preparation was pretty good, and now the defense has to do all the adjusting. Looking to side for once, and it's intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. A little bit of a backbreaker right there. You're down close, one score game, trying to push the ball down the field and score, and you throw a pick six. And sometimes you take a little bit of a gamble when you're making your throws, right? Sometimes you press it a little bit more than maybe you wanted to because you want that score so badly. In this case, it cost them. The extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead now up to 14. 
Howell now to take it out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they just had that pick six. I guess the only positive maybe of them returning that for a touchdown, this offense right back out onto the field to try to make And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Jordan Poirier, and he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. With the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys, they've been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start, it's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. Right back to Singletary on second down. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. On the handoff, it's Singletary. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills, and they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs> but I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got 